Hoffer from KJR up in Seattle. All right, Dave. So we're talking a little bit about about the uh, Hawks and Russell Wilson. Let's get into Bobby Wagner. Uh, what did you think of the Wagner cut? And there's actually talk the 49ers are one of the teams interested yeah. in Bobby Wagner. What do you think of that, th- that decision? What has he got left? Well, let me just think about Bobby Wagner wearing a 49er uniform playing next to Warner. Uh, hang on just a second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough seeing Richard Sherman in a Niner uniform. And then I got to watch Bobby Wagner in a Niner uniform. Yeah, well, I mean, you cut the guy. He's got a right to do whatever the hell he wants for crying out loud, right? So, I mean, look, Bobby Wagner is one of our all-time favorites up here. He's a phenomenal dude, great player. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. You know, we put a poll out on Twitter yesterday, Larry, asking people who were they sadder to see go, Bobby Wagner or Russell Wilson. And Bobby Wagner won by a landslide. I mean, it was wow. 75. Yeah, it was 75, 25%. So that goes to show you. First of all, how annoyed people were with Russell's crap. And then second of all, how much they love Bobby Wagner. So, yeah, he's third in the NFL in tackles last year. I mean, of course the guy can still play, right? He's one of the top ten linebackers in football. Uh, He absolutely can still play. Now, he may only have one or two years left in the game because you know as well as me, there's no gradual decline in the NFL. The NFL, you can either play and then boom, you fall off a freaking cliff, right? You go from the penthouse to the outhouse overnight. So, that might happen to Bobby Wagner, but if you're looking to get one good year, uh, two good years, maybe out of Bobby Wagner. Yeah, never met a man I've been scared of. Careful, you won't get exactly what you asked for. Careful, whatever you bring me, get in handled. I answer to no one, I don't need to hassle. Yeah. Yeah.